Hello and welcome to 2019. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and a happy new year. We know the close season is a complete drag, but we really haven't got that long to wait. It's all so exciting. Alexa, how many minutes until the 23rd of March 2019? There are 88,431 minutes until the 23rd of March 2019. Oh. So, with Alton Terrors just opening right around the corner, I thought it would be a great time to talk about the new rides and attractions and bits and bobs coming to the resort this year. I think the biggest addition for 2019 is the Alton Towers Dungeons, something that has been subtly teased throughout 2018, but it is finally official. Alton Towers have been very selective with what information they are giving us regarding this attraction. However, with a little digging, we have found out everything you need to know. So first off, we know that the dungeons will be located inside the old Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, next to the sinister cloud cuckoo land of all places, and the building will be receiving a full dungeons makeover. I'm unsure if Burger Kitchen will also be altered to blend in with this. I'd hope so since the area would look a bit mishmashed in terms of theming, but hey oh. It will host a total of five shows and a boat ride segment. So this is something which was accidentally leaked on the Alton Towers website and has since been removed. But it does state three very interesting things here, one which I'll talk about a bit later on. First let's take a look at the five shows. If you noticed at Scarefest last year, a total of five characters were teased across the park. These were the Judge, the Torturer, the Plague Doctor, the Highwayman and the Haunting. These give an indication to what the five shows will be. The Judge, Torturer and Plague Doctor are obviously returning favourites, however I'm curious about the Highwayman and Haunting as these are two I've yet to come across. It was also previously stated on the site that there will be gripping and spine chilling stories from Alton Towers dark and dangerous history. This is a possible sign that the Chained Oak or even Doom and Sons may be incorporated into the dungeons. It will be interesting to see how this will tie in with the five shows on offer. The boat ride segment came as no surprise since it was such a major part of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Also it's not like it hasn't been done inside of dungeons before. For those who are curious, the boat ride shouldn't feature any drops unless they've modified the layout, and I doubt you'll get wet on this, but expect stacks of atmosphere and a few jump scares to boot. Although this is pure speculation from myself, another major part of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory featured the flying glass lift. Whether this will be utilised in the dungeons I don't really know, but it would make for a pretty cool feature. The other thing I was going to talk about was the section regarding the premium annual pass. It appears that the dungeons will be an upcharge attraction. There is no confirmation on the price, but if Warwick Castle is anything to go by, it will roughly be about £9 from in the park. There will also be combi tickets for both entry and the dungeons for a discounted price. Now it does say the dungeons are included with the Alton Towers premium pass, but not for the standard pass. This will likely be the same for Merlin passes, however again, this is something I can't confirm yet. I've seen some 2 for 1 vouchers for the park entry and dungeons combi ticket which state they are valid from the 23rd of March. This makes me fairly confident that the dungeons will be open from opening day. What are your thoughts on the Alton Towers dungeons? Please comment below as we'd love to know. Right, now I can confirm there is not just one but two new exciting rides coming to Alton Towers. Located right towards the rear end of CBB's land, nearby in the night garden, we have Project Hip Hop, a gangster inspired thriller in which you quite literally drop, drop it, it like it's hot. hot. Reaching a staggering height of 11 feet, this drooling drop toe will have you violently winched up on nothing but a seven seat gondola with lap restraint. And that's about it, really. These two junior drop toes being added into CBB's land did make me ponder about the future of Froghopper and Cloud Cuckoo Land in general actually. If Froghopper was to be removed, because what is the point in having three junior drop toes in a single park, Cloud Cuckoo Land will be pretty much redundant. CBB's land is clearly the draw for the younger demographic, so Cloud Cuckoo Land is just becoming a waste of valuable space. I won't be surprised if Cloud Cuckoo is completely scrapped in favour of a new potential secret weapon site. I think I might be onto something here. 
Also, big shout out to Bob Ross and whoever this guy is. These documents can be found inside the planning application link and they're well worth checking out. Moving on, another new for 2019 edition are the stargazing pods. Basically glorified tents made of wood located a stone throw away from the park. It's basically the adventurous fun of camping without the insects, damp, freezing cold temperatures and comfort of sleeping on a blow up bed which lasts about 30 minutes before it deflates. Another selling point are the telescopes which are dotted around the village area. Go check them out on the Alton Towers website. And if you have kids, I'm sure they're going to love the Pirates and Princesses takeover for February half term, which will be jam-packed full of activities from the 15th to the 24th of February. But do please take note the park won't be open around this time, however the Shark Bait Reef will be accessible. It also appears that Wicker Man is having a ton of TLC over the closed season. My biggest hope is for all the reliability issues to be ironed out by the 23rd of March. I know it was having a hard time for its opening year, especially with the weather conditions and the train overclocking the brakes, so fingers crossed this will all be resolved. It has also been teased on both the website and social media that there are more surprises to come, so my best recommendation is to stay tuned by hitting both that subscribe button and notifications bell. Cheeky plug. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and make sure to comment below your thoughts on the 2019 announcement so far. The latest video is on the top left, a random one is on the bottom left, and our magic button is on the right, but please don't touch, it's very dangerous. See ya!